Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to implement the class-based list view in a Django web applications. So here we got the perfect output. The student ID, student name and gender. From this student table, in this table element. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to implement the class-based view using list view class in a Django web application. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new Django web application, first we'll check the table in the database. I'm using MySQL, which is PHP my admin database. Let's take the Charan database. Right now in this Charan database contains one student table. Let me browse this table. If you see here in this student table contains three columns around 10 records. Now my aim is I want to fetch these records from the student table and display on the browser using class basic view in Django web application. So let's create a new Django web application. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a Django web application. Let's go to File, Open Folder. We require a new folder to create an application. So I'm creating a folder in this E drive. I click the mouse, New Folder. The folder name is Class Basic View. Is my folder name. Let's select that one and click Select Folder. And here the folder is added successfully to our Visual Studio Explorer panel. At the right side, we got the welcome page. Let's close this welcome page. As we know that right now this folder contains empty files. So let's create a new Django web application in this folder. For that, go to view and select terminal. And here we got a terminal which is nothing but a PowerShell or command prompt. And also notice the path is the class based view which is our folder name and I have created this folder in this e drive. So let's create a Django web application Django hyphen admin start project. The project name is class basic view is my application name and here the class basic view application has been created successfully in this folder. Let me expand this class based view application. Notice when I expand this application, there is one subfolder with the same application name, one, one, one managed at py Python file. Let, let me expand this subfolder also. If you notice when I expand the subfolder, there is some default Python files are added automatically, like settings.py, urls.py. All these files and all these files and folders has been created automatically when I create this application class based view. Now my next step is let's add this application to this path. CD change directory my application name click enter. So here the class based view application is added to our folder. Now after that let's create a models in this subfolder of our application. Select the class name, project name, right click the folder, um, new file. The file name is a models.py. And here we got the models.py. In Django applications, this model page contains a class with some properties. So it simply contains only properties, no any logics in this models page. But before that, we need to import the models class so from django.db import models after that i'm defining a class called show uh, show uh, records is my class name the model class name models dot model colon after that if you check in our table, we have three columns, ID, student name and gender. This ID column is always in that column. So I'm not adding any property for this ID. I'm adding the student name and gender. 
so student name is equals to moral start more not morals here the morals are failed the data type is max length is equals to 150 comma and the gender is equals to morals dot tab field and adding the max length is equals to one if you check here in our table the gender column contains only single characters so the length of this gender is one here i have added maximum length for this gender property is one next i am adding one more class called meta class and this meta class contains db underscore table is equals to between double quotes the table i am adding student table let's save this file save all after that let's configure our connection string the database connection string into this application in settings.py open settings.py and the settings.py first the most important step we need to install our application name so in single quotes our application name is class based video let's add that one add comma after that and now in this template section notice the batteries here i'm adding the templates path os.path dot join method i'm joining the templates with the base directory comma between single quotes templates the templates is nothing but a folder name but if you check here in our application we don't have any templates folder so let's create one application um, folder called templates and all the templates which are nothing but the html pages i'm adding in this templates folder so let's create one index.html page right click the templates folder new file the file name is index.html and here we got our index.html let's add one headings how to implement the class based view list view in Django web application horizontal line after that let's save this file save all switch over to settings of by now let's add the configuration the database connection string in this databases section the default database engine is a SQLite 3 but here we are using MySQL and the name is the database name between single quotes my database name is Charan database so let's add the Charan database after that the username the username is the root again the password here the password I'm leaving blank and because I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database if you have any password add this within the single quotes in this password section then we require the host also host is host is a local host and we require the port number of our database to find out the port number of my SQL switch over to the database notice here the server mysql contains double three zero eight this four digit number is our port number let's add that number here double three zero eight then the last one i'm using the options options colon between curly brackets between single quotes init underscore command colon between double quotes let's set sql underscore mode is equals to between single quotes um, strict underscore trans t is capital here trans underscore tables come on that's it let's save this file now after that we require the views page to create a class so again select the subfolder of our application right click the mouse new file the file name is a views.py in this views.py 
I'm creating a class, but before that, let's import the necessary namespaces from Django dot shortcuts import render. The render class is, is used to render our templates on the browser. Next, we need to import our the model name also from class based view my application name dot models import from this models I'm importing this show records show records now let's define now after that I'm implementing the class based views from Django dot views dot generic dot list I want to display all the records from the table so I'm adding the list import with the help of list view class then let's define a class called uh, display is my class name in this class I'm defining the list view class colon then I'm simply adding the model name is equals the model name is show records and the template name I want to display the records in this index.html so I'm adding the index.html let's save this file save all open urls.py from dot views from this views I'm importing class name which is display display then here the path between single quotes comma views not views display my class name dot as underscore view method now I'm converting this class display class as a function that's it I'm not adding any name here and now this index.html uh, we have added here no the display when I call this display the template will execute now index.html it become our the default home page of our application let's save this file save all and now switch to index.html uh, let's add the table let's put this all in a center tag so it looks good table with a border one inside this table I'm adding table tr table header in our table we have three columns id student name and gender let's add those columns student id the second table header is the student name and the next table header is the gender now tr now this tr the table data we are fetching from the database so we have more than one record in our table so i'm using for loop percentage percentage for uh, for um, let's add x in object underscore list we need to add this object underscore list which is a key name let's close for loop with n file after that let's add between table data between double curly brackets x dot we need to add this column name so id is st name gender id td again in this expression i'm adding x dots to a name td between double curly brackets x dot gender that's it let's save this application save all now it's time to check the final output let's run this application python manage.py run server enter see after i run the server we don't have any issues in our application below is our web server link Control plus mouse click and here we got the output uh, the student name column something went wrong Shun comma here let's check 
So here we don't require comma here. That's an error. Save all. Now let's reload the browser. So here we got the perfect output. The student ID, student name, and gender. From this student table, in this table element. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to implement the class based view using list view class in a Django web application. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.